Welcome back to the Homeboys Cooking Show. I'm your host, Aaron Braxton. Hey, thank you guys for all your, your messages and welcoming me back. You know, make a brother feel good uh, to be missed by so many people. So thank you and thank you for promising to, to purchase my cookbook, The Homeboys Guide to so Southern Cooking and Other Stuff. Uh, thank you for that. Um, so today, we're going to cook some sweet potato pie. But not just any sweet potato pie, your grandmama's sweet potato pie. I'm going to put in them secret ingredients that your grandmama don't want to tell you about that she went to her grave with. Well, today, them secrets are going to be revealed. All right, so we're going to jump right into it. We're going to start out with two big, gigongous sweet potatoes or yams uh, brother you know contacted me one time was like no those are sweet potatoes or those are yams well guess what sweet potatoes are yams yams are in the sweet potato family so these are two yams or sweet potatoes whichever one I forgot but anyway look I, di I didn't peel these with a knife I actually peeled them with a potato peeler this works really good because it, it, you, you peel it and it goes really quickly but the best thing about it is the fact that it leaves a lot more of the potato on the like like I don't have to cut big chunks using a knife you feel me? So this way, you, you, you got more for your buck. And you know me, I'm one that wants to save a dollar. All right, so we got two of these. Now, in my cookbook, I say two or three. Today, I'm using two because uh, I'm going to also do a non-dairy one, another non-dairy one. So I bought four because a brother got to save some money. So look, <laughs> I have two pie crust. Now, I can make my own pie crust, but why? why, why I, I, I ain't got time to be inventing the wheel, so I bought two ready-made. They're, they're not baked yet. Uh, I will bake them with my pies, but two, uh, because this is going to make about two. All right, so this is evaporated milk. This is what my grandmama used. She used evaporated milk. I just like her evaporated milk. I don't know. I was a weird kid. Uh, but I, when I was at the grocery store, I saw this. And this is by um, that, that company that also makes uh, chocolate, the, the, the chocolate milk powder. Um, and this is, I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's called La Lechera. La Lechera. I think I'm saying that. La, La Lechera. Uh, I think I'm saying that. I'm going to give you that part because that, that ain't the label. Because uh, they ain't paying me. Uh, so, but I wanted to try. I, I love evaporated milk. Some people use regular milk. I use evaporated, evaporated milk because it tastes better. But I'm going to try this because I might just use this in the recipe. So let me show you. It's a little thicker than even evaporated milk. Guess what, guys? I'm going to use this instead today. It's called sweetened condensed milk. It's called la lechera, la lechera, la lechera, la lechera, something like that. You can go and get this. I went and got it at the Hispanic market that's near my house. So I'm gonna use this today. If you can't find this, then use evaporated milk. Don't use regular milk. Use evaporated milk because it, it, I'm telling you. This is also evaporated milk, but this is the kind that they use when they make that little custard from the Mexican shop. I forgot. Flan. Flan. That's what they use. So I'm going to use this today. I got two eggs. I'm going to be careful with these eggs because, uh, you know, I don't want to break them on my counter. And then I'll be scraping them up and putting them in the, the, the bowl. Stick of butter. I have a half a cup of brown sugar a half a cup of white sugar, a half a cup of corn syrup. I'm going to use a tablespoon of molasses. Now, I know people are like, I hate molasses. I, don't, I can't be using that, that molasses. I don't want to use molasses. All right, don't use the molasses then. But <laughs> I like molasses. Just a tablespoon. I'm telling you to make your... You, I almost said a, I almost cursed, guy. It'll make your your pie really good. Um, a tablespoon of real vanilla. Please don't be using that imitation crap. 
use uh, the real stuff, the real 100% vanilla tablespoon of that. Now, this is another secret. Now, in my cookbook, what you will see is I have a tablespoon, I mean, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of allspice and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. But when I was at the grocery store, I'm looking around because I'm out of cinnamon and I see this. This is pumpkin pie spice. Pumpkin pie spice. Now, I looked on the back, it's got cinnamon, it's got nutmeg, it's got allspice all mixed in, but it also has some ginger. And I was like, I ain't never had no, no sweet potato pie with some ginger in it. But, so, I think I'm going to use this. But in my cookbook, I don't have ginger. But I'm going to put ginger in because I think ginger is going to add another spice to it that's going to really bring all these flavors together. Now, these are all the ingredients that we're going to use to make a scrumptious sweet potato pie. What you're gonna do is you're gonna preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Then you're gonna take these two bad boys and you're gonna boil them for 40 to 45 minutes until they're really, really tender. Now obviously, please don't boil them with the skin on. Take the skin off first, boil them 45 minutes. Then once they're really tender, then you're going to submerge them in some cold water and then you're going to be ready to basically just toss all this this stuff in a bowl and then we're going to be done well I, I, well I guess we gotta bake it and then we're going to be done all right stay tuned okay so basically I'm going to combine all of these ingredients into this bowl I'm going to start out with the butter. Next the eggs. Then the, the corn syrup. Sugar mixture. La lechera. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of the uh, the pumpkin pie spice. Tablespoon of vanilla. Tablespoon of molasses. So I have all the ingredients, I'm mixing it up. Now I'm not trying to get all the lumps out because I hate sweet potato pie that's really, really, really smooth. I actually like a little bit of the chunks in there. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to pour it into my pie pan. This smells so good. All right, now these are ready to go into the oven. So all right, I have my pies in the oven. We're gonna cook these for about an hour. There you have it, they're all done. Now it's time to take them out. There you have it, sweet potato. Hi. Just like your grandmama used to make. Alright. Oh, this is good, y'all. This, this is really good, y'all. Yeah, I really like the welcome edition of that La Leche era, whatever that was, that 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 uh, more uh, Mexican kind of, uh, of sweetened condensed milk. I still like the, uh, the evaporated milk too. So, you know, I'll switch back and forth. You know, next time I make it, I'm, I'll put, make it with some evaporated milk. 
uh, this is a is a welcome addition to the to the arsenal. So you know, try it, try it. You know, uh, it, it it really tastes really 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 good. I ain't eating no more though, cause my stomach is already starting to hurt. <laughs> Alright, uh, so you know what, thank you so much for watching my show, The Homeboy's Cooking Show. Make sure to check out my book, The Homeboy's Guide to Southern Cooking. The link is going to scroll right across the screen. Did I do that right? I said it's going to scroll right across the screen. It's on Amazon. It could be in your local bookstores. If it's not, your bookstores can order it. So check out my book. Keep your comments coming, and until next time, peace.